Yo, what is up guys? Guido here, back again with another mini bike video. And in this video, I am gonna show you guys how to properly adjust your valve lash on your mini bike. So let's just get straight into the video. So pretty much what the valve lash is, is it's the lash or the distance between your rocker arm and your uh, valve stem, pretty much, the top of your valve stem. And pretty much what this is, is when your motor is, you know, making its revolutions and going around, the lobes on the cam are pressing on the lifters, which is pressing on the push rods, which the push rods lift up on the rocker arms, which then pushes down on your valves, which opens your valves. And pretty much getting valve lash is really essential because if it's not, you know, done right or your lash isn't in the specs that it should be, your motor just won't start at all. It won't run. Um, or either when you're trying to pull start it, like especially if you have a billet flywheel and you have your advanced timing, you'll try to pull start it and boom, it'll snap back and it'll kick back at you. Trust me, I've been there and I've done that, guys. And I can tell you it's not fun from denting side covers and denting gas tanks and hurting your fingers. Um, so making sure your valve lash is essential um, to having your motor pretty much running right and borderline even starting. Um, so with all that being said, we're going to get straight into it. The only real specialty tool you're going to need is just a fueler gauge set. Um, I mentioned these earlier in another video that I did. Um, I recommend you guys get these. These are so cheap and inexpensive and they're totally worth to have around because um, you never know when you're going to need them. Um, so with all that being said, let's just get straight into the video on how to set your valve lash properly. So now we're going to go ahead and set our valve lash. Now, I actually, actually went and upgraded these rocker arms. Um, these are not stock. These are the one-to-one -one champion rockers. These are a little, a little bit of an upgrade. They're aftermarket ones. They're just a little bit more durable compared to your regular stamped uh, stock steel rockers that come on these motors. Um, but it's going to be the exact same process, of course, for setting your valve lash. Now, what I always tell people is if you have an aftermarket cam or any sort of paperwork that came with your motor, always go off of that. Here's a picture on screen of this cam um, paperwork that I have that pretty much shows like, you know, the, the rotation and, you know, the lift and stuff on the cam. But I'll also go ahead and highlight it. You can see it says your valve lash needs to be set at 0.003. Um, and with these motors... Usually you always want to have it that or either tighter. You never want to have it looser because when it's looser, you're going to get the snapback problems or like I said, your motor is not going to start. So always go off of paperwork or information you have or know about the motor. If you don't know anything, I always recommend setting them to, you know, 0 0.003 um, or even two on all my bikes that I run. I usually run 0 0.002. It's always better to have it on the tighter side than looser because like I already mentioned, you're going to get the, the kickback issues and you know, your bike isn't going to run right. Um, and obviously the valve lash is essential, essential for having, you know, a good running motor. Um, so it's super easy. There is two nuts that is on top of the rocker arms here on your stock ones that you would loosen and then bind together to get your appropriate, um, you know, uh, your appropriate lash pretty much, the appropriate distance from your rocker arm to your valve stem. But since these are upgraded uh, rocker arms, it's still kind of this, pretty much the same um, deal. All I have to do is just get a screwdriver and jam it in here and loosen this little lock nut. And then I'm able to adjust the distance on uh, this rocker arm here. So it's applying the correct amount of, uh, you know, lash to that valve stem there. Um, and pretty much you're just going to go ahead and loosen this up get it to where it needs to kind of be, you'll be able to tell and you'll be able to feel with the feeler gauge, um, kind of where it, where it should be at. Um, it's not going to be too, too loose. And you also don't want it to be like too tight where you can't get it in. You want it to go straight in and have a little bit of resistance, but like I said, nothing too loose, nothing too tight. You want it to be just right. Um, and you'll most definitely feel just a little bit of resistance. And that's how, you know, you have it set perfect. I recommend doing this actually multiple times because Believe it or not, just this tiny, tiny little movement um, can make a massive difference. So I recommend checking it, setting it, checking it again, and then either adjusting it or, or loosening it or tightening it if you need it, um, if it's you know not in spec. But it's super easy. Like I said, you get your feeler gauge, jam it in there, and make sure it is a nice, somewhat resistance, you know, um, and make sure it's it's in the correct specs that it should be. And that is pretty much all there is to it. Some bigger motors, this is on a Predator 212, so some bigger motors may be different and obviously have maybe different specs or whatnot, but on this Predator 212, for the Hemis and the non-Hemis, it is the same. 
and maybe with different cams or something they might require a different you know lash setting but on every single motor that i've seen with different cams and stuff like that stock builds and aggressive builds it's always 0 0.003 and like i said my personal preference my personal touch that i like to do is 0 0.002 um tighter is always better what can i say and for these mini bikes tighter is always better for these um rocker arms but you don't want to have it too tight you still want resistance and you still want a gap between there um obviously because then if it's too tight that's you know obviously not that's not good either so you got to make sure it's just right but with all that the valve lash is 100 set make sure you go start up your bike make sure it's running good make sure there's no issues um and with that throw your valve cover back on and boom you are done so i hope this quick little video quick little explanation of you know how how to do this and what's involved and you know kind of the, the the tips and tricks on this i hope this helped you guys and i hope this quick little video um hopefully you guys learned something new about it with all that being said i hope you guys comment like and subscribe and stay tuned we got some cool videos coming up um some cool behind the scenes stuff that's happening so make sure you guys stay tuned with all that being said peace